Welcome back to the 2020 draft class. And so today I'm wearing uh, Calgary, because why not? Uh, again, I don't expect any of my draft picks to be correct now, and I expect people to look back on those draft videos and go, see, he wore what for, for the Lafreniere video? See, he jinxed it. He jinxed it. He made it. He jinxed everything. Whichever teams he wore for whichever whichever prospect videos, none of them are going to get drafted there. And that would be funny, wouldn't it? That would actually be funny. Because Caden Gooley kind of fits what Calgary needs, I think. Like, he's he's a big physical, likely to be a maybe 20, 25 point a year defenseman. It doesn't look like he'll be a big point producer, but that could be okay. He's six foot three, 187 pounds, and yes, he is Brendan's brother. So... He has a brother currently in the NHL. I don't know if that's going to affect whether or not a team's going to pick him. I would think no. Uh, it's usually not the case. His strengths, puck handling, acceleration, speed, passing, hitting, and the defensive side. So this is the first time I've done a, a prospect video where hitting and the defensive side are your, your, your highlights with him. Now, picking his spots seems to be where some scouts are kind of concerned. But you know what? That's kind of how these kids work. He's ranked number 22 by Hockey Prospect, number 14 by ISS Hockey, number 8 by Central Scouting among North American skaters, number 21 by Elite Prospects, and Bob McKenzie has him at 14. So Bob McKenzie likes him quite a bit. We'll see if that's uh, where he ends up going. Uh, plays for the Prince Albert Raiders. Uh, it's the only town that you can call and ask whether or not they're in a can. Uh, Prince Albert, 68 games last year, 3 goals, 14 assists. Uh, 17 points this year, played 64 games, 11 goals, 29 assists, 40 points. So the offense got better this year, likely drew the attention of some scouts. And we'll see whether or not he goes ahead of Schneider. So I've talked about Schneider in a previous video. And of scouts polled by Hockey Prospect, 5 out of 8 had Schneider ahead of Gooley. But it's close, because that means 3 out of 8 said, oh, we would like Gooley more than Schneider. So, uh, the most interesting quote I found on him was it said he plays smarter than his brother. I have him in the top 20 now. So he should take that and put that up on the fridge. Yes, Scout thinks I'm smarter than you. Hi, you want to talk to Mom? Well, you know, they do think I'm smarter than you. So are you sure about that? Are you sure? Do you want me to discuss it? So what kind of player is he? Prototypical throwback defenseman. Very physical, and, and they say he plays like a throwback, where he, he is an aggressive player. And tough to play against. He's going to be one of these guys that at six foot three, uh, once he he fills out and really gets that physical maturity, good luck getting through the neutral zone. Good luck getting past him. He's a good skater as well. So this isn't one of those defensive throwbacks that can't skate very well and has to rely on hooking and holding and overall goonery in order to stay in the NHL. He can skate. And while he may not have the speed of of a Lafreniere or one of these guys from the draft. He is a good enough skater that it's not any problem at all. Uh, Two-way defender is how he's seen uh, in terms of his, his NHL upside. Although the offense is never going to be fantastic with Gooley. Uh, as I said, probably 20, 25 points in the NHL, which is good. But he'll be known more for his defense. And I, I get the feeling he'll be giving out highlight reel hits. Uh, at a time where hitting in the NHL is down, maybe getting a guy who knows how to throw a hit or two uh, helps. So, good first pass. Uh, good first pass, good at coming out of his own zone. They do talk about how once he's in the other zone, he may need a little bit of work on his confidence offensively. But again, once you get later on in the first round, there's going to be drawbacks with players. Now, if a team can draft Gooley and ha help him work on improving that part of his game, you get a steal in the draft. This is where the development process comes in just as much as the scouting. Um... He does need to work somewhat on the mental aspect of the game, making smart decisions. Again, that is not a knock on a defenseman. As far as I'm concerned, when you're 18 years of age, you're going to make mistakes. You're 17, 18, and juniors, that's going to happen. And a team may look at him and say, you know what? Yeah, he made these these mental errors here. But boy, he's six foot three. He can skate. He's got a lot of skill. He put up 40 points for Prince Albert this year. I can't see how we don't take him. And so for a team who's looking for a blue chip prospect on the blue line, he may very well be too good to pass up. I'll say in the 15 to 20 range. So he is likely taken after Braden Schneider, but that's going to be close. And that's one of those ones to watch on draft day, which is sometime towards the end of the year, whenever we actually get draft day. We don't know. 
the NBA announcing their schedule. I don't know if that's going to pressure the NHL to do the same or if they're on their own timeline. But he is likely going to be taken after Schneider, and it's going to be one of those one of those things where we say, okay, Drysdale is the class of, of the defenseman. Sanderson may threaten him for that spot. Sanderson may very well get that spot. And then the defensive defensemen come in after that with Schneider and Gooley and which one's going to be the better of the two. And it could very well be Caden. So again, you know, when I look at the things that they're saying, well, he needs to work on this, those are things a defenseman can fix. And yeah, he may end up being quite the steal. And so again, Calgary, because why not? We'll see who drafts where. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And yes, I have lost track of which jerseys I have and haven't worn in this series. No, I don't plan on going back to check and, and make sure I'm going through this exactly right because yesterday showed you just don't know with the draft lottery. You just don't know what's going to happen with the draft. So it's kind of a random thing. Thanks again for watching. Let me know your thoughts regarding Caden Gooley. I will talk to you again soon.